Is it fun when you're losing? <sighs> it's the that, fucking I, I was just I was just telling him, there's like, do you guys have an assassin's oath? What's that, Kai? Do you just love being in the, the water full of sharks? The best of the best. The man in the arena, just like always. On that him. level. It you just know everybody's everything. a gladiator just like you. Just so like you. Losing is the assassin's oath like of just, we don't want that. Do you flail when you're like losing or does something like kick in? Um, Cause if I'm like spun out at work, I wonder if the work is good when I'm grasping and desperate. Yeah. I think that, you know, like the thing about acting is, is that you're literally replicating things that people go through every single day, right? So when someone's screaming and shouting in the middle of an argument, you're doing it. If your gut doesn't feel like that, it doesn't quite connect as actors. Yeah. Losing is when you have to fabricate that. And, and, and the crew are like, OK, we're going to go one more. And you can tell everyone knows that this is a moment that the boom man's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, if you want to stay in it, don't look so at the you crew. Can tell don't look at the crew. You can tell when you're stinking it up or something's off. Yeah, and the, sometimes it's a time to let go even more or yeah. to try even harder, and yeah. you never know which one's going to, like, end up getting you there. And it's the same as, like, when all of a sudden the shift has happened and you're on the down and you're trying to get back up, losing to winning. What is it that kicks in that gets you back to a better Absolutely. place. I mean, here's the thing, I, here's how I think about losing, uh, and a lot of it is, is framing, but there's this misconception that people who are quote unquote successful at their craft, like all of you, uh, are just more talented than everyone else. And, and while that may be the case, you have more risk aggression. You've put yourself in more situations where you have failed and lost, so you build resilience. Like those who win, lose, because like our winning is like what's celebrated, it's remembered, but our growth comes from our losses. Tenfold, man. I think in life, those that are addicted to the process actually don't need to lose to win. LeBron, for 20 years, he is literally addicted to the process. He likes winning, he likes championships, but he actually likes going to the gym and training much more than the parade and the celebration. But if you really can dive into the process of something and love that, then you can then then that you're actually addicted to learning and you want to you want to get better. You keep going back to the process. I did not expect this to happen today, but I am having a <laughs> <laughs> Addicted to the process. But how does that prepare people for the losses? There are so many fragile young people, right? When they take a loss, it is over. That's, that's what I'm saying. That's, that's a great scary. question. See, that's what I think is you found you the meat in between the two slices of bread. You have winning and losing. Great. Those are big pendulums. Yeah. What is the meaning of Ooh. life? It's the process. What Ooh, is the, the middle? Process. Enjoying that 10,000 hours. That's it, addicted to the process. Even the bad shit, liking yes. all of it. Yes, every element.